Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at a USB cryptocurrency miner called the Futurebit Moonlander 2. So the Moonlander itself is quite compact. It's about seven, seven and a half centimeters in length. Plugs into the USB slot obviously. It's got a mounted mini fan on the top which is quite noisy so it's not the best quality. And just looking at the back of it turn it around there there's a heat sink on it and you have to be very careful how you handle it because these components are very brittle so what we'll do is we'll plug it in and just see how much power usage this thing consumes so i've just plugged it into a usb voltmeter and it's not actually doing any mining at the moment it's just plugged in and it's on standby but just to give you an idea how much power consumption so you've obviously got five volts at the top uh, 0.17 of an amp and it's just less than one watt of power as well but that like i say is not mining at the moment that's just to give you an idea of how much it's consuming when it's just plugged into the usb so the, the moonlander 2 can mine script coins so that includes coins like litecoin and doge so just as an example to see how much power is consumed when we do mining i'm just going to start it off mining some litecoin So you can see it flickering where it initializes. Now you don't need any drivers when you plug it into Windows. It should just detect it through the software. Now the program I'm using to run this is called BFG Miner. So as you can see, when it's flickering that light, that means it's mining away. And if we look at the voltage now, still using less than five volts. Uh, the ampage is just over 1.1 amp. And the watt is 4.9 watts, so it's almost 5 watts of power. So that is pretty good, I would say, for a passive miner. I mean, it's not going to make you a great amount of money, but it's not bad. I mean, that's just going to be quietly sitting in the background, doesn't make too much noise other than the fan noise, and it'll just mine away nicely. So let's have a look at the figures on the screen to see how much it's actually mining when it's running. So this is BFG Miner. Um, that's the speed we're running at at the moment with this miner, so it's about 3.3, 3.45 mega hash a second. It's accepting all the transactions there, so it just gives you a bit of an idea of what kind of speed it runs at. Now that hashing speed can be increased, and the way you do that, there is two pots on the back of the moon lander. One can be used to adjust the voltage, and the other one can be adjusted to increase the speed as well. But I've just left it as default, and the default is around about 3 3.5 mega hash a second so just looking at the figures for the past 24 hours you can see that's the amount i've earned uh, and that's actually using two of these moon lander devices connected for 24 hours to a computer so i've just entered that into uh, a litecoin calculator here on the web and i've got two of these moon landers running so in the last 24 hours i've made about 13p it's nothing at all really but it just gives you a bit of an idea just how much you can actually earn with this. Now, obviously, uh, difficulty can go up and down. Then, obviously, the price of the Litecoin will have an effect on that amount as well. The other thing you've got to factor in is your electricity cost. Now, I've got this hooked up to a computer when I did the 24-hour test, so you've got to take in your um, electricity costs as well. So you're not going to make a great deal of money on this one. It's good for educational purposes. Great if you want to get into mining and just work out how different coins work and how mining um, software works but i'm going to do some other experiments with it so stay tuned if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below um, please subscribe like and i'll see you savages on the next one